Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make uh, ordinary bullet points in PowerPoint look a little bit better and you can do it pretty quickly. So let's say for example we have some bullet points like this in PowerPoint. And this is an okay way to start off because basically we've got a main bullet point and we kind of indented it, indented it out for sub bullets uh, for these large cap companies and information about them like Apple, Exxon, Microsoft. And maybe instead of having plain bullet points like this, we want to spice it up, give it a little bit more visual appeal, make it look like something like this, or something like this. This gives it a little bit more visual appeal. Not only do we have the, the bullet points intact, but we also have the images from the logos of the companies. So let me show you how to do this. I'm going to go ahead and just take three of the companies here. I'm just going to use three of the companies here, Apple, Exxon, and Microsoft, and show you how this can be done pretty quickly. Let me go ahead and escape to get out of the uh, slideshow view. So let's say, for example, we have, uh, we've got our bullet points. And this is probably a good way to start off because when we're brainstorming, we just maybe want to type out the text of our content. And later on, we want to kind of format it to make it look more visually appealing. So what we need to do is we click in here. And this is basically the bullet point uh, outline. Uh, this is something where you know you just have bullet points here. And once this is done, once you kind of format it out to the content that you want for each bullet point, all you need to do is go into the home tab, go into the par go into the paragraph group and click here where it says convert to smart art. So when I go ahead and click that and convert to smart art, we can see that there's some different choices for us. And we when we hover over it, you'll see that it automatically converts those bullet points into this more appealing looking type of visual uh, output. So we have this vertical bullet list. We can do something like this where it's a little bit bigger. And let's say, I, for example, I choose that. And I can just not go with the default colors here of blue, but I can change the colors here. So we can have it these uh, no color, just the outline, or this accent, or the red accent, or maybe green, or have it give it to us. Have PowerPoint go ahead and suggest these colorful accent colors, maybe this one, or this one, or something really bright like this one. So let me go ahead and choose this one. You see now we've gotten this here. Now you may think that, well, you know, maybe I don't want to have it so wide and, you know, maybe I have to, I want it kind of a little bit smaller and maybe I want to break it out. And you may think, well, with the smart art, it all seems like it's self-contained in this box here. Well, that's not the case actually. Even though you have a smart art type of object, you know, we can open this and do some editing or go edit it in here. Let's say we wanted to put something else and go edit it in there. Let me go ahead and control Z to undo that. You don't have to stay constrained in the smart art uh, container here. What you can do, if we want to kind of move Apple up here, maybe Exxon Mobil it kind of in the middle and Microsoft over at the end, what we can do is we can go ahead and when we click on it, we can go ahead and convert it and convert the smart art into shapes. And once we do that, what happens is it converts it into shapes. This is a rectangle, kind of like a, a rectangle shape would curve rounded edges. The same here, the same here. These are all different shapes. Here I just grouped it into one group. So what I can do is I can click on the group. Let me go and just click on the group. You see that solid line? Right click and go ahead and go into group and ungroup this. Now they're all different shapes. You can see that they're all different shapes here. And so what you can do, uh, let's say this kind of moved kind of moved out a little bit. Let me go ahead and put it back there. It looks better that. So what you can do is you can group them individually now. Let's say go a a Apple. We can group that together. To regroup it or just to group these these both shapes here, what you can do is under the format tab, under the drawing tools, when you have that drawing tool, go to the format tab and go to group and then group. Or there's a keyboard shortcut. We can just go ahead and select the second set of objects to group is just to use the keyboard shortcut control G and that's going to group it and then go ahead and select Microsoft here and then control G to group it. So what I can do now since it's all grouped together I can move this over here as one group maybe I can move this over here as another group and maybe I can move this down here as another group you know and I can just kind of move them around to where I like it uh, and you don't have to be stuck with that smart art where it's all in one big container you can't really move them around so there goes one example. Here's another example. Let me go ahead and uh, copy this particular slide again. I'll press Control D to copy to make a copy of it. And let me go ahead and just remove the last two groups here, the last two uh, companies here, and Control A to select everything. And I'm going to increase the font size here so I can see it a little bit better. So I have this, and I can go ahead and do the Smart Art again. I'm under the Home tab. I go under the Paragraph group. Go ahead and convert to smart art. Maybe I want something with a picture, so I can go and find one with a picture. 
maybe I'll choose this one like I did previously, and I'll go ahead and select that with the picture. You notice now that it's come up with these little, it's come up with this uh, left box so you can do some editing. You can do some editing within here too, but you can do it both places, whichever you like the most. And I can go ahead and select the icons to put in there, or, or the images. So I'm going to go and select that. Something's going to come up where it's going to ask for it to insert a picture. Let's see, that was Apple, so I'm going to go ahead and double click that Apple icon. Let me get the next one here, which is Exxon Mobile. Let me go ahead and click that. Let me go ahead and put Exxon Mobile in there. And I can do the third one here, Microsoft. Let me go ahead and pull in Microsoft, I believe. Here we go. This is Windows icon. Go ahead and close that. And now I have my smart art. And see, but unfortunately with the smart art, you can't move them individually. You're gonna have to move them as a group. So if I tried to kind of move it around, you can see you can move them just as one big whole group. But let's say I didn't want to do that. I want to have Apple up here and Exxon Mobile in the bottom, maybe Microsoft up there. Let me go and control Z to undo that change here. And I also want to change the the the, the colors. So I'm I'm gonna change the colors here. Uh, maybe get something a little bit more. Uh, let's see, let's do this color and maybe I want it to have a little bit more glossy look maybe something like this right and and then there was something where you know you can you can change the um you can change the the the, the angle of it so i'm going to go ahead and first is convert this to a shape and once i do that it's all one big shape i can go ahead and you see the the solid line it's all grouped into one big shape i can ungroup it oops let me control z to undo that move and to ungroup it, you can just go under the, the format and ungroup it, or you can use the keyboard shortcut Control Shift G. That ungroups it with a keyboard shortcut. And you can see now there's a couple groupings here, this, this image here, and then the icon in that circle. And what I can do is I can just select one of them, press Control G to group that, and select Exxon Mobil's group here, the bunch of objects here, Control G to group that, and also do the same here for Microsoft, and then Control G to group that. And now I can start to play around with each of these particular objects. Since they're grouped together, I can give them effects. And maybe I want to have it rotate. And maybe I want to have it rotate like that or, or that. Well, that's a little bit too much. So, I mean, you, you can go a little bit crazy here. Uh, but it's probably good to, to not have it too much. So that looks OK. Maybe I can do something like that and then do this one and have it uh, rotate the other way. Maybe we'll rotate it uh, this way. So you know we have we have uh, one going in one way, one going in the other way, and we'll move this one a little bit up like this. Uh, let's see. Let me go ahead and move this one up. Whoops. Let me go ahead and move this one. Click it again. Let me move this a little up here. See now we have. So now we can just do some adjustment at wherever we want to. Uh, we can make this smaller. But see that the the key is now we've taken our bullet points, which were something like this. And we made them a little bit more uh, visually appealing, uh, simply just by converting it to smart art and then reconverting it into objects. So there's a quick way that we can uh, convert plain old bullet points into a little bit something that's more appealing to view when you do presentations. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.